Hello YouTube, this is Megadude, founder of postapocalyptic.com and megapocalypse.com. And today I have something a little bit different from my normal postings. This time we're going to do an unboxing and first impressions of the Life Clock 1. Brand new smartwatch that I just received. And uh, before I get started, I do want to let you know that I did receive this uh, smartwatch free of charge in exchange for some um, advertising that I had done for the company. So this is not going to be a review per se, but I will show you what it looks like and where you can go get some more information about it. So, if you are unfamiliar with what the Life Clock 1 is, uh, hopefully if you're a fan of this channel, you're also very familiar with the 1981 classic movie, Escape from New York. And the Life Clock 1 is the only authorized replica of the timepiece that Snake Plissken wears in the movie. So, let's get started and you can see what it looks like. So this box I just got a couple days ago and I have not even opened this yet. So this is going to be live for both of us. Uh, cool. Wow, nice. They're reminding me that I have to charge it up so I won't be able to show you the uh, look right away but um, I will give it some juice and I'll come back to that. So here we go, the Life Clock One. Sweet. Very nice packaging. Escape from New York logo. Like I said, this is an officially licensed uh, product made with the um, uh, the approval of the uh, rights holders of Escape from New York. There's Snake Plissken and his um, Gulf Fire. And that's what we have here, or more imagery from the movie. Actually, the uh, Statue of Liberty with its head um, you know, broken off like that. That actually wasn't in the film. That was just using the promotional materials. But it is a cool image. And it goes very well with the watch. What am I supposed to do? Slide it out? Or open it? No, open it. Okay. Ooh, nice. So it has a nice uh, magnetized uh, box cover. For you collectors out there, you can take pride in that. Okay, here we go. Guess I'm going in one way or another. Yep. There is some bio info on Snake Plissken. Interesting. Some of this probably came out of the book or the novel because uh, not all of this was um, actually mentioned in the actual film itself. Oh, here we go. A little bit more about the Life Clock One. Looks like I have serial number 372. Like I said, it is a full smartwatch, so there are apps available for both the um, Apple uh, iOS and Google Play. From what I understand, the Apple app is already available, though they're still working on the Android app. So I won't be able to show you the um, you know, push notifications, uh, SMS receipt, things of that nature. Uh, but if you're curious about that, leave a comment and I'll post a follow-up video on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, some brief instructions. And let's see what am I looking at here? Uh huh. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're down to the good stuff. The watch itself. Set up the packet. Don't need that. And there it is. Man, that is a honking big watch, but that is a solid piece of milled brass. You can just tell the quality just by the weight of it. So there are uh, various um, strap options available. So this is the, the classic Velcro, like from the movie, uh, and this is the medium size. So real quick, I'm a kind of halfway big guy, about six feet tall, um, and so this is the medium, and you can see that it fits just about right. So there you go. Nice. Yeah, see, like I said, they warned us that you had to charge it first. Let's see what happens anyway. Yep. Yep. You can probably read the instructions to see what I'm doing, but yeah, it's probably just out of juice. But to take care of that, they give you not one, but two charging cables. 
On the uh, Kickstarter where the watch was originally introduced at the end of 2016, they said that the watch would probably get um, about a full day of use. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll find out more when we actually get it charged. But it is nice that they give you two of these, so you can leave one at home, leave one at the office. And so, you know, if the watch does run out of juice during the day, you can go ahead and um, charge it up again. So, let's see if there's anything else hidden away down here. Another look at that. Oh, and so, quick note about the back. Um, that, laser engraved. There are uh, various backings that you can get. There are uh, three or four different uh, versions that you can um, choose uh, free of charge. And then there are uh, a couple of um, additional options that are an additional fee. Uh, this particular one, I think it was called Locked and Loaded. This is actually a $50 charge in addition to the, the watch. Oh, and I should have mentioned that this particular watch, uh, this is the Snake Edition, the all brass. This watch will sell for $399. It's available right now on LifeClock1.com. And then there is also a, a separate uh, black anodized aluminum version called the um, Goldfire version, and that one will sell for $599. Like I said, it is a full smartwatch, and so it does, um, you know, everything like stopwatch, countdown timer, uh, camera control, push notifications for uh, incoming calls, missed calls, voicemails, SMS, um, also app notifications, they say, for Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, things of that sort. A built-in step counter, built-in compass. Dude, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna have to, um, Give it some power and then come back and see what the screen looks like. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, now we're back. It was sitting on the charger for about half an hour, so I think it should have enough juice to power on. Now before I do that, I wanted to show you something about the battery connector. Uh, it's magnetized and it's polarized such that it won't go on at all if you have it misaligned, but it snaps right into place if you have it properly connected. Also, there was a charging indicator on there, so I could tell that it was taking power. Let's see if it has enough to turn on. Supposedly, there is a partially customized welcome message. Hold the power button down for five seconds. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, the LEDs heat up if they're left on for too long, so basically they only come on for a few seconds at a time. To display the time, you hit the top button once. This was set at the factory at uh, 12.07. Also, if you want to see the date, you go ahead and you hit it twice. I'll have to adjust that as well, but even though I'm not going to be using the Android app right away to automatically update all the settings on the watch, uh, they do have instructions, not in the box, but on the website. Uh, you can download the full user's manual for the watch and you can go and um, you can read how to set the time uh, and which functions are available without the, the, the app, the phone app. One other thing I wanted to try is, oops, wait, hold on. Okay, well, so now we're cycling through the various options. Uh, battery is at 80%, that's not bad after only about half an hour of charging. Um, this is the, Movie mode countdown timer. It basically can only be set for 22 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. And the FAQ would not tell us what happens when it reaches zero. So I'll just have to um, go ahead and uh, um, check that out tomorrow, about 23 hours from now, and see what happens. So there you have it. That is the Life Clock One. Officially licensed replica of Snake Plissken's timepiece in Escape from New York um, Like I said, I will not be using it with the phone app for now But if you are interested in seeing how it works with the phone Whether it's receiving phone calls or notifications from different apps Go ahead and leave a comment below and I will make a follow-up video um, Showing how that works once the app is available uh, If you want more information go ahead and check out the life clock folks at lifeclock1.com of course, I'll also link that below in the description, and I'll also put a link to the original Kickstarter video so that you can um, get an idea about the processes um, and steps they went through to produce the watch. 
so that'll do it for our unboxing of the Life Clock One. If you have any particular questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, have a nice apocalypse.